House Flipper is quite the game, honestly. Like, it is it is a game I did not see coming. Uh, I got a key from the developer, just like out of the blue. Not necessarily something that I would really kind of go out of my way to go and check out, right? It's a house flipper, you, go, you can decorate a house, but hey, whatever, you know? You flip a house, sell it for more money. Okay, great, that, that's, that's, that's cool. I've seen plenty of HGTV, I've seen plenty of this kind of crap. Why would I want to play a game about it? And then I played it, and I kind of fell in love, just a little bit. Despite all of its quirks, weird bugs, uh, and just bizarre things that would sometimes happen, that, uh, was annoying, at times game-breaking, but I should also know that the game-breaking one that I encountered, I encountered, uh, last week has actually been fixed, so that was that's great. Uh, and, yeah, just, it just is a, uh, just a nice, chill game about fucking redecorating a house. Now, the way I've been playing it is not necessarily the way that you would probably play it when you start. Uh, and the reason why is because because of the save game corruption thing that I encountered where over here, this little laptop guy right here, uh, this is where you go and you could buy and sell new homes uh, or buy and sell you know homes just in general. Uh, this part was broken. So the only thing I could do was basically wipe my save, start over, buy a new, buy, uh, modify the save file, which I did. <laughs> And it was very easy, mind you. It was like super easy. Uh, and I just gave, basically gave myself like a ton of money, right? I just gave myself a ton of cash. And that pretty much helped me uh, where I was basically able to treat this game more of a, uh, I guess, interior design sim uh, than the purpose of it, which is, you know, to, to basically progress by starting out with a small home, uh, which is like basically this piece of garbage right here. Uh, actually, I'll show you this. Starting out with this small shack, working out of it, uh, slowly getting more and more money for odd jobs. Then you buy your first house, you make a couple adjustments, you clean it up, and then you flip it, and then you sell it. You know, you sell it, and you make a little bit of profit, and you kind of roll over uh, with that over and over and over again. Um, you also have a couple of, if you look at my uh, tablet here, uh, you also have some perks that you unlock. I've, of course, I've modded this as well because I didn't think that I would be able to ever recover my save, and so I figured let's just give myself a ton of money, give myself all the perks. That way, I don't have to worry about progression, I could just treat it like an interior design sim. And that has actually worked out really, really well for me. I've streamed this uh, a good handful of times that everybody seems to really enjoy just watching. Yeah, which I, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> but I guess the people used to watch DayZ and other games where you basically walk around and do nothing for like nine hours uh, at a time. I suppose this is not too far-fetched. Um, and so as you do things, like for example with negotiation, actually let's go to something like cleaning, right? So new perk after 7,244 cleaned elements and trash disposed. Obviously that number is much, much smaller when you first start off and the more things you unlock, the more, it's basically a progression system for doing that thing. So cleaning, more things you clean, the more points uh, you gain and you unlock, you, know, you could, you could uh, clean faster. Uh, you could see dirt on the mini map, which actually I can show you that right now. Upper right corner of the mini map there, you could see all the little black spots, that's the dirt. Now I've not cleaned this house yet. I was actually looking forward to using this as my example for uh, for this. Oh, this is a new wheel, man. Okay, this is good. I mean, this game is really close to release as of the, as of this recording, uh, and this video will probably go out the day of release. Um, so it's really close to release. So I'm not surprised to see that these guys are really putting in um, a whole lot of work to try to get this stuff going. So we're gonna go ahead and actually. I'm gonna show you the uh, the clean function here. So basically hold a clean and then the dirt disappears. And on the left hand side, you see some of the prospective buyers and they're like, oh, their their hopes for this, their interest in this property goes up. It's kind of a real time feedback system. So what you can see is uh, the characters will basically start pro kind of uh, um, uh, reprioritizing themselves based off of the changes that you make. So if I decide to go in and maybe make an extra bedroom, then you might see, uh, maybe I think the, uh, right there, you see the switch, the, uh, um, I guess you could say like the 20 year old millennial, which is the guy that's now second from the bottom. He is now more interested in this spot than the family man, which is the bottom one. Now it's just changed for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe they have like really bizarre and very specific, uh, cleaning, uh, cleaning expectations. There we go. It basically get everything around the outside. Now keep in mind, because I have this skill maxed out, it makes this part really easy. I could just basically run around with this thing waving in the air, and it just, it just does the work. It's just easy, just did it. Uh, you can see the dirt disappearing on the, uh, 
on the mini map. Is that a stain on the ceiling? What is that? Oh, that's no, that's something that's garbage. That's straight up garbage. Let me see. Here we go. Yeah, the spots are, are garbage spots. Get these last parts here. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, if I switch to my hand and click on this, now I have AOE cleanup, right? So I click on this. Boop. Now that's that's gonna clean up things in the area. This as well. Notice that box up there disappeared as well. And this is also trash. Boop. And it's gone. Uh, and all I need to do is find that spider web, which is probably the corner, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I just sweep like this. The corner would jump on top and go like this. Nope. Uh, it's up, it was up there. Okay. Cool. Now the house is clean, and you'll see people start to comment and say, wow, no, it's perfectly clean. That's how you know it's like basically done, is when they say, oh, it's perfectly clean now. Um, a lot of the stuff here is probably garbage because it's just too far gone. Um, you could choose to, uh, to get rid of it if you want. You don't have to, but it looks like crap. So what I'll probably do is actually pull out this, which is the, the selling machine. You aim at an item, and you just go, it says sell for $41.79. Boop, gone, gone, uh, gone, oh, come on, gone gun where it's gonna sell everything and you'll see people start to freak out oh i need a bedroom oh what no bathroom da, 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 da. you'll see them do us what do you mean no separate kitchen you can see everyone's getting very upset yes like it's funny this is it's kind of like having a, an actual like in-game chat like a twitch chat that basically critiques everything you do without really looking at the bigger picture <laughs> which sometimes happens not all the time but it sometimes happens oh this is a is this a window clean I'm actually quite surprised. No, that's not clean. Is it? I mean, I can't do anything with it. Well, okay, so there's a window cleaning mechanic uh, that's not in this. It's not currently in the, like on this house, because this house is apparently those windows are clean. <laughs> they qualify as clean. <laughs> Boop. Now these are the same guys that brought you Car Mechanic Simulator, a game that I've not played for any for breakfast or anything, but some of you guys may have played on your own. Uh, and it's got decent reviews, I think, like, the, but basically from what I've seen of it, it's like, it's a, yeah, people seem to enjoy it. Um, one thing that I expect to see from this game is outside of whatever the price point's gonna be, which I believe is gonna be $19.99, uh, outside of that price point, you're gonna have, um, probably some DLC and whatnot, which I, I'm, I personally am fine with, so long as the base content is enough, and I feel like right now they're really close to enough base content. And I, as you saw in the other room, the other house that has like that, um, which I, I should have given you a tour of that first, but we'll probably do that in a moment. Um, in the other house that um, that we started off in, you could see all the stuff that I did just based off of some of the simple things that were currently that were available on the um, in the store here, which is this is basically the store. And so I could go through and, and create a number of designs based off of just this. Like I have a kid's bedroom. Uh, there's this is like straight up an IKEA style bed. I, I say that because I have this bed. And this frame uh, <laughs> like right here the next room over in the guest room um and you could just you have all kinds of things right it's a day bed uh this is more of a um uh, more of kind of a modern type of bed with a kind of a weird uh headboard and also you could go through and look at the headboard here and you can actually change it so you want light wood for the foreground and maybe the background you can have that be dark uh, or sorry the background here you go dark you could have all kinds of combinations of things now not everything has a bunch of options it seems like every 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 element has its own number of, oh, how weird it shows me the, the front, but I, or the, the, the back of the side here. Uh, but every every function has, or every uh, item seems to have its own collection of things that it could be. So it's not like, okay, if I get this carpet, I can have, you know, Roy, Roy G. Biv color selection. And then if I get this other car, this other couch, I get Roy G. Biv color selection. That's not that, that's not the case. It's, it's kind of on a case by case basis. In some cases you have no, no selection on color or anything. Um, but there's enough things here. You can usually make things work as I've noticed. Um, let's see, mattress with green, which, why don't you show this? Oh, auto-rotate. Is it rotate this thing around? There we go. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Orange. Uh, you know, a green might be looking, oh, that's not, it's not neon green. A neon green would look pretty good. Let's see. Lily. Oh, well, why not? You could buy that and then you could take it and you could put it right here and you can see how it fits. You can hold down shift to rotate and make sure it fits and whatever. It turns red whenever you can't put it down. And the second you put it down, that's when you bought it. So we don't want to do that yet because I'm still flipping this house to show you guys how how it works. How this this particular game, uh, this particular building sim functions. Now, before we get into it, right now we have a pretty bare bones, uh, bare bones setup, right? Bare bones. I could turn around and flip this house right now. Uh, for whatever amount of money that I end up getting for it. It goes up to on auction, if I hit this right here, it goes up on auction and then it'll sell for whatever it's gonna sell for. I'm gonna hook this house up on this episode so you guys can see what it looks like. We'll probably just throw some stuff together that way we're not sitting here for like two hours because I can very well sit here for two and a half, maybe four hours just working on this house. Um, 
And the reason why I say that is because I could just not, not just work with what it's giving me here, but I can actually knock down a wall. Like, let's say maybe this wall here. Oh, okay. You know, I lied. I was in the impression you could just knock down those walls. Huh. So, uh, yeah, I read that you can actually knock down and expand on floor plans. I guess that's not the case. Huh. Well, that looked look like an idiot, don't I? Well, I can knock down this wall if I wanted to make the, uh, the bathroom completely open. <laughs> but that's not what I want. I wanted to knock down the damn, the back wall and actually put an add-on. But that's unfortunately not gonna work. How funny. I've knocked down so many walls in this game because I guess I just never tried knocking on the outside, knocking down the outside wall. Now, uh, let's actually go ahead and go to the next, to my, uh, to my other house. And I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. So this other house that we're going to, the, um, return office, uh, this house actually is the most expensive house on the market currently. Um, well, as of the last uh, update, I should say, uh, and it was trash. I basically went in, I trashed everything outside. was, the outside was fine. It's white, right? It's whatever. But the inside, the walls look like crap. There's actually, there's a bathroom here. This pretty much looks like crap. I mean, it still looks like crap. It's not quite done yet. Uh, I just threw a bathroom in. Uh, I put the radiator in. I put the the, the, the thing in. Um, go down here. I have, oh yeah, this is kind of funny. <laughs> so one of the bugs that I encountered here, I put a bunch of fallout doors because I wanted to lock this up because I couldn't build walls down here. The only place I could build walls was actually on the, uh, on the first floor, not in the basement, which I thought was really strange. Now, also I should note that, yeah, the game is uh, chugging along a little bit here. Um, oh, did they fix it? Oh man, let's see. Holy crap. Look at that, they fixed it. So you weren't able to do this as of, Jesus, like not even that long ago. Let me see, just click and then, can I click and drag here? Or do each one, up to each one. Yeah, we'll just do it like this. So you can basically build walls, which is awesome. It means I can build walls upstairs. Uh, or I can turn around and also break them down. So I just go like this. This is what it looks like when you break down a wall. Boop, falls down like that. And those chunks end up disappearing after a minute. And you can do that basically with all these walls. I can clear out this entire bottom floor here and get a uh, completely clean wall set and then rebuild the walls, which is awesome because you could not do that before and it was super infuriating. I'm so glad they changed. I'm so glad I delayed to make this any for breakfast. Now up here, this is my, I mean, this is my space that I made. And I love it. That picture looks like it's tilted. How interesting. Is it falling? <laughs> That's an interesting, like, bug. Did any, any other pictures fall? Let's see, none of the pictures on the ground, so I guess we're good there. All right, well, let's go and switch to, out of this before I end up smashing something. Uh, so yeah, this had basically four bedrooms up here. Four bedrooms and a, and actually, you know, just so I give you guys an idea of what it looks like, a better idea of what it looks like. Can I make it? Uh, real time. Oh god, no, disabled. Oh man, I really want to show you guys what it looks like at night, but there's no way to make it and like force it to be night. Unfortunately. Damn. All right, well, you guys just have to deal with it. Pretend. Let's just pretend. All right, so they had four bedrooms up here and a bathroom. Now, I knocked down all the walls to the bathroom thinking I could just get rid of it entirely and make it one giant bedroom. Um, and that failed because I could not knock down... Oh, those sconces are on the ground. Yeah, this is weird bugs. Um because I could not knock down this wall because there's piping in the wall, right? This this one also has piping in the wall, but apparently it didn't give a damn. It's mounted to nothing, but it's still sitting there. So that's why there's like an open bathroom setup. And how funny that all of these, both of these basically cascaded down. But that seems to be the only thing that, well, there's actually, there's two things wrong with this room right now that I didn't, that I didn't do, that the game did. One is the color of the drapes. I actually had white on one side and I had red on the other. So they were kind of mirroring in different colors. But unfortunately, the game, um, after the first save, before the last update, it ended up uh, not resetting those all to white for some reason. So it might be a bug with just those particular drapes. I'm not quite sure. This one does not have drapes because uh, for some reason I couldn't mount drapes. So it's like little bugs and quirks like that. But overall, like I'm really satisfied with how this looks. And you're importing your own pictures, right? I mean, look at this picture of freaking Sunday and Isabella. Like it just looks good. I found this. I, I got the idea to put this up because I found this. Uh, uh, these drawers that kind of matched right there. Uh, these two pictures, unfortunately, though, those are like stock. You can't make small pictures like this out of your photos. And if you go over here and I click on tab, go to gallery, you can see that I have, uh, this is a loads here. I have a ton of different things that I can, uh, images that I put into the, into the folder. 
Okay, anytime now. The first load is always a lot because there's a lot of big ass JPEGs, I guess. Uh, so here's a bunch of images that I put in, basically trying to go with different color schemes. And then I have a bunch of Dave Apollo art. Um, he's a super talented artist. He basically takes like those stock type of, uh, those like boring, uh, like doctor's office waiting room style paintings. He buys them from like thrift shops and then he adds, uh, he tries to match the, the style and he adds his own stuff. You can see there's Slimer, there's uh, Aliens, there's Luigi. Cthulhu, Mario, I mean, like, he adds his own stuff, uh, you know, gaming, mostly gaming and pop culture related stuff, um, to, uh, to the images. And here's a bunch of pictures that I took using the in-game camera, and of course my own photos that, uh, that I've done in the past, especially with all these at the top here. Again, trying to capture something from every, like, color scheme-ish, right? Now the camera is basically what it is, it's a camera, you take a picture, then you could actually make it a, an art piece. Just by going to the store and choosing, you can say, "Yeah, I want to choose an RP, make an art piece out of uh, out of whatever." Um, just by you know, clicking on this and double click, and you say, "How big do you want to make it?" It's like, "Let's make it super huge, seven thousand dollars." You go click on buy now, We're and now you have this giant it, thing. It, it. No, <laughs> no, oh my god! Let me. Uh... <laughs> oh man! Thank you. Thank you for that. Will Flynn's the wonderful timing on that. This is not live, by the way. It's just because I'm using OBS, and that never happens <laughs> during an Indie for Breakfast. I use this to record Indie for Breakfast, and that just happened to pop up. Thank you, Will Flynn's. Appreciate that, Jesus. So anyways, this is the uh, the size of the image you can get uh, up to, which is pretty massive. That's how I got this right here. And actually, let me go ahead and uh, move these to see if that's going to make that picture fall. Kind of curious. Nope. Okay, yeah, just a, wow, just a strange bug. I wonder if there's something behind it that's like pushing it forward. Nope. So I pick it up. I wonder if there's an, a part of, part of the update that he did if certain things don't line up. Oh, there you go. So like little things like that is what I've noticed. You know, and again, like these sconces at the bottom for some reason, like these are basically up at the top, like right about here or so. And that was where they're at. Obviously the toilet paper was a little bit more uh, accessible. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this up because I'm probably gonna fall again. We'll see. I'm gonna put like right here. There we go. Anyways, yeah, I'm so I did the floor, I did the walls, I did the drapes, I did the, the art, I did all the placement of everything. This room, this area was just nothing. It was actually nothing, and I couldn't build walls around the toilet area, so I was a little upset about that. But now I might actually be able to. Yep, looks like I can. Uh oh, wait, or can I? Hmm, not entirely. But kind of. It looks like there's something, there's definitely something. You know, if I could build around it like this, look at that. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could actually build around that weird, like, dead area where I can't do anything here. So I could basically bring it out to here, bring it all the way around, and then come all the way back. That's really good news. That's, like, super good news. I'm really, I'm really happy about that because that was such a game-breaking thing. I was like, really? Open toilet? You guys probably saw the images on Twitter. I shared them earlier. Uh, one thing too to note is, yeah, there's definitely a little bit of a, um, of an issue regarding, uh, performance and optimization. Right now it's like super smooth, but occasionally it gets kind of chunky. Uh, one way, one way I was able to actually eliminate that is actually go down here and turn, uh, game mode or, or day night mode to disabled. And that's pretty much eliminated sh shadows, moving shadows from the sun and all that stuff. And now it's like super smooth. So still going to be some quirks here and there. And, you know... It's not an action FPS or, or whatever, so it's like, it's not something that I really am upset about, personally. Uh, one of the things you could do, and actually I'll go ahead and do this to show you, this is actually a super big part of the actual, the, the side jobs that you get, uh, is you actually go through and install. Go like this, we go radiators, right? So we get a radiator, go buy now, we put this bitch on here, go to assemble. Every item is like this. Every, like, appliance, every, like, tub, uh, uh, sink, Every uh, uh, washing machine is just like that, where you have to go through and it zooms in on every single part and lets you go through and, uh, and actually install it. Now, there's not a whole lot of skill involved. You don't have to actually, you know, righty tidy, lefty loosey. You know, it's 11 mil is it 11 millimeter or is it 13 millimeter? No, you don't have to do all that stuff. You just basically left click and go. And a lot of things, basically everything is like that. Click and drag something here and there. It's all well pointed out. It just basically adds another layer of, 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 a, of a way for you to make you work work to put it in um let's see we go in the backyard i wish i'd clean a window but oh clean the window i mean that window's dirty yeah i'll show you this is the cl window cleaning mechanism here it's got like a it's like a like a dirt devil or something like that hear that vacuum 
Done. And then that window's clean. Oops. There you go. Now the window's clean. Then we can open it up if we wanted to. Ta-da. And this one too. See? Kind of nice. All right. So let's go back to the other house we're going to be flipping because this one I'm going to save for the stream. We're going to make this house awesome. And it's going to kill the frames. All right. <laughs> go to own room. All right. Oh, that's a nice house. I haven't seen this image yet. Little play area. And again, like, it's a blank canvas. You can build whatever you want. And that's one of the reasons why I love this game is like, it leaves it. Oh, this is the job house I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I'm not doing no jobs. Hold on. Go to first office and office stay. Uh-oh. They go to first office. Ah, here we go. Okay, okay. That's right. First office is what this room is called. Or what this, uh, what it's technically a room, I guess. I was wondering why I was like, wait a minute, I haven't seen that image before. Here we go. All right, so we've we've pretty much beat this place up. It's it's got nothing. What we should do is put in probably a small kitchenette, uh, turn it into basically a studio apartment. So a small kitchenette, bed, uh, so sleeping area, um, and we have to furnish it too. You could sell it. I mean, you could sell it with just like this, right? With some paint and some new floor, and sell like you would a regular house. But you get you'll get more um, uh, attention from certain people uh, if you if you actually cater uh, to kind of kind of design it with the, those people in mind. And you can actually see what their needs are. If you go to buyers, uh, you actually click on each individual family. So like this guy, the 20 year old, right? Oh, there's no there's no uh, information. That's pretty funny. So this must have uh, changed in the last save. Or actually, no, you know what? I have not sold anything on this particular save yet because the last save is the, uh, is the one that I had that was corrupted. Um, by the way, if this save gets corrupted between like now and the time I release any for breakfast or even after that, I will make an update uh, in the comments below to let you guys know that the saves are still kind of messed up. It's super easy to back up your saves manually though. So that's what I've been doing is basically making backups of my saves so that if it does fuck up, I can roll it back. It would suck to lose a day's worth of work, but if you have 10 days worth of work into something, one day is not gonna make be that big of a, of a deal. Um, all right, so my stats, I have no houses sold, five hours completed, right? Three hours, 21 minutes played. This is obviously just on the second save because I did a complete wipe on my first one. So I'm, I think I'm more, I'm closer to Whatever Steam said earlier, six, seven hours, eight, I have no idea. Um, actually, I am curious. Let me see. 11 hours. Boy, I was close. <laughs> and I could definitely see myself putting more into it. All right, so first things first, let's put down some new floor. We don't necessarily need it, but we're going to do it anyways. So we basically have floor panels and covering. We want to choose something, maybe something light, right? Just kind of something kind of bring bring out a little bit of brightness to this area. We just got to click and drag. Installation of tile, super easy. If you ever had done it, if you ever installed any tile, uh, like a higher rail, uh, you know that it's, um, it's not that easy. <laughs> uh, we're also gonna do the bathroom. Uh, the bathroom's got like all the same tile, top and bottom. Um, I'll probably actually, should I actually stick with this for the bottom? Nah, nah, who, who, who puts wood in the back? Floor tiles, here we go. Let's see, we get kind of fun with it. Some orange, right? Okay, orange. Like a nice, kind of a bold color. Bam. Then we gotta pick something that, okay, let's not get the wall out here. Uh, let's pick another complimentary color for the top. Uh, complimentary to orange we're would be blue. Oh my god, Will Fonz! No, <laughs> oh my god, I am... Will Fonz, thank you. Man, I... So, first off, I apologize. I don't... I, it's, it's, it feels a little unprofessional to have, uh... To have, like, that thing on, but I... It, the odds of that happening during a recording, because it never happens... Um, was it, it was pretty uh, it was pretty slim. So, but it's happening now. So there it is. Uh, and disabling it is uh, is 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 kind of a pain in the butt because the sound still plays even though you mute everything because that's just the way OBS works sometimes. Now, what am I doing? We're gonna actually put some wall tiling up. Uh, floor panels will cover. I don't know what the floor panels. Let's see. We're gonna go walls. Let's see. Is it actually wall panels? Yes, it is. This way, I should go through and choose something kind of nice or whatever I want. Uh, wall tiles for the bathroom. We'll go with blue. And then we'll just basically, oh, that's right. This is a little bit different. Sorry, I forgot about that. We're going to need to actually put these. That's not as easy as clicking and dragging this one. We actually go with this, pull out the tiling and paneling, pick this up, and then boop, just like that. And we basically do the whole thing just like that. It makes it super easy. Pick it up off the ground, put it right there, pick it up off the ground, put it right there, just like that. Come on. Oh, where I have my hand. Kind of picks it up so fast. And so you end up doing the entire room just like this, one step at a time. Even the, you end up doing the, the inner door, uh, the window jams too, and the sills. Well, not the sills, the sills kind of, they say the same color. You actually can't color those. 
they stay white. So you want to design around that. You can't have like super pink window cells as of right now. Like this. And what we'll do with the uh, the other room, just to kind of expedite this, is we'll actually paint it with the main room. Painting is a lot faster than tiling. Just like painting is a lot faster than tiling IRL. I mean, look what I'm doing. I'm basically just left clicking, just holding it down to the boop, and the entire row is done. <laughs> Grout and everything. Just finished. Just, just like that. Super easy. There we go. You can see the, pip the, uh, the, the pipe fittings and everything are all there. The reason why I couldn't, again, the reason why I couldn't knock down that, that wall in the, uh, in the other room, the, that, that kind of, the, the furnished room that I showed you guys the other house. Alright, now there's still a couple of sections up here we have to do. This is separate here, we have to do this. And keep in mind, this is also the fully upgraded skill that I have for, um, for tiling and plastering. Again, it's not something that I, I cheated to do that because I was, uh, I was fed up with the, uh, the game not or corrupting my save and I needed a workaround to, because I wanted to continue playing, but I just couldn't do it. So, I made, I made my own fix. There's also, there's also these little, uh, right in here. That's also a place you have to tile up. Boom. It makes a difference when you go to resell it. Like, those little things, it will ding you. It won't tell you, but... They will kind of allude to it, saying, "Boy, I wish the, the it was more well furnished or tiled or something." Oh, they'll make some kind of vague comment. All right, so that room is basically done. Walled. You cannot do the ceiling, so the floors and the and the uh, the walls are done. So boom, done. Nice little orange and blue. Uh, out here, let's just pick some random colors to go with. So we we'll go paints. Uh, let's do something loud. Why not? Let's do Amaranth Adventure and let's go put this down. We do Amaranth Adventure on one wall, like an accent wall, right? Uh, or maybe we can actually do like mm, a couple of mirrored walls. Maybe like that wall and this wall. Nah, nah, I don't like that. Let's go and put this down. See what it looks like. Basically soak it up. And then because I have the updated or the uh, fully upgraded thing, I could do like four panels at a time and paint really, really fast and save a lot of paint. Let's just do this whole corner like this. The kitchenette is going to be, the little kitchen area is going to be this hot pink. Good, and we'll do right in here as well. And we'll do this. Highly recommend you upgrade your upgrade your paint roller because it saves a lot of paint. And also being able to do multiple tiles at once is awesome. Come on, you get that tiny little corner. Oh, it's not not highlighting. Interesting. And one more. Good. Is all done? Yeah, it looks like it's all done. Okay, cool. Now, let's go ahead and pick another color for the rest of the room. That's just going to be that area. We'll go ahead and sell this. The rest of this paint. Get a little bit of money back. And, uh, what's complimentary color to Amaranth? Jeez. Like a, it's kind of like a pink, almost. Let's just say it's red, and then just say... <laughs> oh, God. Green? Like, really? Maybe you can find a right pair. Hmm. Lime. Spring grass is a pretty good color. This is like, I mean, it's not really complimentary. You should go something neutral. Bright peach, faded lemon, white. Let's just do... I've used faded lemon already once. It's pretty good. Let's use faded lemon. Put that down. Uh, boom. You don't have to worry about cleaning your brush. You don't have to worry about even using a rolling pin or anything. <laughs> Ten, you just basically dip it in. It just soaks it right up. So yeah, the physics of the way things work in terms of how you get your stuff clean. This actually has a little bit of green in it and kind of, it kind of works actually. Huh. Get this all done super fast. My super, super brush. Good. Got some top stuff to do. That actually works super well. I like that. Let's basically do all these. All these little edges and all these little corners here. Did I get that little corner in there? Yes, I did. Got them both. Good. Get me this. Good. And this, I'm not going to get both these, am I? I sure am. Good. Uh, yep. Cool. And I have a little bit left. Okay. That's more of this. And we'll just go right across here. 
So yeah, let's go back to the DLC discussion. I fully expect the game to have DLC and probably lots of it, and I am actually okay with that because, well, assuming it's 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 executed correctly. And by correctly, I mean like The Sims. The Sims had a ton of DLC, The Sims 4, and it was stuff that was like specialized. It was like, you know, like for example, there's an apocalypse uh, feature in the store, or survival, where you go through and you can have box, package, power generator, hat, gun, gen you know, whatever. Like there's tons of crap, an M16. Like, you can just take this up and buy it and just kind of lay it around if you want to, right? <laughs> Mount it on a wall or something, right? <laughs> and this would appeal to, like, the pink hair guy. Watch, I'm gonna put this down. The pink hair guy's probably gonna freak out. Let's see, put that down. Give it a minute. You might see, uh... Or not. You know, whatever. Just make me look like a jerk. <laughs> He's the one that was getting really, really hot enough, like, really hot about not having a kitchen. He's like, man, no kitchen? That's awesome. All about the survival stuff. Look at that. That's pretty nice. A rifle at the top. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, let's see. So the painting is pretty much finished. Oh, by pretty much, I mean not. Oh, that's not what I want. Good. That little sliver right there. Excellent. Windows are clean. All right, we'll go ahead and sell this. Now we have a couple things we got to put in, like a radiator. All right, so we'll go up to the top. I'm just typing a radiator here. Thank God for the search feature. Man. So many, so many games that just don't put that in. They expect you just to memorize everything's at. You have to click through and drag things. Or click through and search for things. There we go. Look at that. Now people are happy. Let's go ahead and actually add some kitchen stuff. We'll go to the kitchen. And now we can actually start really building this out, right? So we go to kitchen. And we could put in an exhaust hood. That might be a good idea just to start. Uh, we'll put like right here. Try to make it look legit, right? Good. And we could put a small kitchenette. Like, uh, maybe this. Let's see. White. Steel. Steel's pretty good, obviously. Uh, white. White worked perfect in here. And then we'll just rotate this around. Look at that fit. Look at that fit! Holy crap. Right there. Bam. No, uh, no cabinetry or anything yet. Let's go ahead and see if we can find something. And no gas. Uh, no, uh, cooking area. So let's go ahead and close this. Let's find, like, an overhead cabinet. Or something. Uh, cabinet with hanging shelves. Here it goes. We'll take this. And we'll just put like, it's not the most ideal thing to do, but if it works, it works. There's no fridge either. Hmm. Well, let's just do this. One there. And we'll get another one. We'll try to line it up. The game lacks a, a good solid grid system. Like imagine like photo, you know, like in Photoshop when you drag something around, it'll line you up with other stuff. Uh, just so you can see where it's at. Like, you see, that's crooked, right? So you end up kind of sitting here and going, okay, let me grab this and move it up just a little bit. So at least it tells you where it used to be. So you kind of line things up. But still, it's not perfect. It needs to have a system where, like, as you drag it up and down and around, it'll line you up with, like, things in the vicinity or on the same wall. That would be, uh, uh, ideal with this. Uh, let's go ahead and go with a small stove. That's probably under appliances, right? It's not something else. Yeah, it is. Let's see, installations, uh, home appliances. And we'll just go ahead and put down a four burner gas get the four burner gas stove. Let's put it right here. Rotate it around so it makes sense. There we go. Put it right, right, right about there. Good. And let's see. Let's see gas stove. A kitchen. We have like a refrigerator mono. It's like a small refrigerator. Ah, here we go. Well, water heater small. Nope, it's not what I want. Go to refrigerator mono. See how small that is. White and details are light blue. The white blue doesn't work here. Let's go ahead and just make that. And they'll see, like, they only have steel. Instead of having, like, a ton of different colors, they only have whatever colors they made for that. Same here, right? White, light blue, steel, black. They don't have purple and green and all that stuff. I wish they would. I honestly wish they would have a bunch of colors. I would love to have just, like, a stupid, colorful, like, clown house. I would love to make one of those. So we'll make it, uh, we'll make it white. Just plain white. So your, your, your buildings do sometimes tend to be a little uh, monochromatic because of that. Can I actually put this like right in here and block this? That's really dumb. I need a fridge though in order to make it count. Maybe I could put it right here like this. Oof, boy. Oof, oof. You know what? Let's do this. We'll put it right here. Right here. Okay, wait, actually, it's a little away from the wall there, so, so it can technically open. And then what we'll do is, we're gonna actually put a wall right here. Put a wall here. A wall here. This way it makes a bit more sense, having this set up. Alright, kind of. 
it's it's not perfect <laughs> it's not perfect at all uh, let's go to uh paints and uh we'll go get our what was it before it was uh was it faded lemon no damn what was the color maybe it was faded lemon or was it bright peach no it wasn't bright peach Shit, I don't remember what color it was. Let's just buy it and try it. That does not look right at all. Morning yellow. That might have been it. Yeesh. Man. Well, it's easy to just put down some paint and see if that's it. Nope, that's not it. Maybe it is this one. Yep, that was it. There we go. And that's the um, purple or whatever. Um, amaranth. So we'll go back to the store. And we get uh, Amaranth. Oops, new inf new photos say open gallery. Oh wow, I didn't realize. Maybe I took a screenshot or something. Um, okay, go this. Here we go. We'll just basically wrap this around here, just to complete this area. Good. So now we kind of have a nice little kitchen area. Go boom, boom, boom. Now kitchen doesn't quite look right. We need something kind of set it apart on the floor. So we'll go rug. Oops. We're gonna go to raw carpets, actually, is what they categorize it at. And we'll put something, something that kind of matches. Dark yellow, brown, orange, uh... Brown might, might not be too bad. Because a nice little round one will probably be good. Again, I wish they had more color selection. Oof, a little too big. You got a tiny little square. I'll almost take anything at this point. Cream. I think I kind of actually do this. Make it like a whole... That's not bad at all, actually. I kind of like that. There we go. Even a simple carpet could bring some warmth to a house. Yep. All right, so now we get a bed. Let's get a bed in here. Double bed. Uh, It's got to be a small bed. Double bed heart. We can make it a cute little house here. See, $757. God, Jesus. Uh, Light yellow. Light yellow for that might work. We can have wood cherry for the little little ornament. There, Make it. we'll make a beach. Uh, Wood, though. Let's see. Wood cherry. Which area wouldn't be too bad. Kind of set it off a little bit. Venge, that would not work. Beach, eh, we got too much of that going on with the floor. Ah, that's too bad. That's, that's... White will work and wood cherry will work. Let's go into wood cherry. Oh, it's not going to fit. That's a big ass bed. All right. So a small bed is going to go in here. <laughs> Let's see. Single bed, John. Bed solid. Oh, here we go. That's a nice bed. White. Let's see. Wild cherry. Oof, not quite. Dark walnut. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe Dark Walnut's gonna be the way we're gonna have to go with this. That's fine. I'll live, I'll live. We can slide that thing right in there, right? Oh, man, does it not fit? It doesn't fit because of the radiator. Oh, that's sad. Oh, oh, wait. You know what? We'll put that right there. We can put something behind here to fill up this gap. Here's what we'll do. We'll go plants. Okay, that's what I wanted. Uh, Plant... Plant, oh, plants, plants, here we go. Oh, oh, plants missed. We can put some plants back here, and this will help flesh out the back end here. These are pretty tall. Flower pot, we'll make those white. We'll basically set it back here, just to add a little bit of, of depth here. And we can actually take it and put like a couple like this and rotate them a little bit, just so they kind of look like they're a little different. And also not crowding each other. And we'll rotate this one around so that it's, uh, yeah, actually that's good, just like that. There we go. See, kind of fill that out a little bit. Not perfect. We probably could put a small table back there. It'd be better. Uh, I go to gallery. And actually, I know the perfect picture to put here. As soon as it loads. <laughs> the gallery takes some time. Now, I'm not going to do the outside. Just for the, just for the sake of uh, of uh, keeping this thing moving here, I'm not going to do the outside of the house. Because it's going to take too long. We're already we're already way over normal Indie for breakfast. But this is a very detailed game. And I feel like it's kind of necessary. That's way too big. Let's see. I don't know though. I don't know what meters are, <laughs> so it's kind of hard to really, really tell what is what. I should just change it. So there you go. This would be a good picture to put here. And then what we'll do is we'll put sconce on top of it. Go sconce. Okay, I keep on doing that. I think it's gonna take me to it, and it's not. Uh, sconces. Here we go. That's something I probably should change. Just go to the category if I type in the exact name. So for sconce, I'll put uh, double bathroom sconce, fluorescent light, uh, sconce semicircle. This is actually, I think this one has a warm tone, maybe. It doesn't have a warm tone. I think it does. I think it does. So lampshade, uh, cream might look pretty good here. Ooh, no, no, no. We'll stick with white. 
Wood, mahogany is fine. I'm not really worried about that. We'll put this right above here. There you go. <clears throat> and the light switches automatically work with that. It just works. And so there's that. We're going to put a ceiling fan in. So we'll go ceiling lamps. Da, 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 da. Actually, we'll put a... We need to put some in the uh, in the room over here. We'll put a beach birch lamp. This has a warm tone to it as well. So we'll put that right here. And we can turn that on with the light. Oh. There we go. Yeah, that's putting a nice little warm tone light in here. Uh, this area is still pretty pretty dull. You can't put any backsplash up or anything like that. Um, like tile, like back tile. You could you could build a tile from, I guess... No, you couldn't do that actually because you can only build in single columns. So if I try to put down like a wall tile, like a backsplash, you know what a backsplash is if you look at your kitchen. Uh, if you have like tile behind the kitchen counter, that's called a backsplash. Uh, so if I go to wall paneling, wall panels and I go to place like, or maybe wall tiles, uh, and I go to place something like a backsplash, um, it will not work. I'm going to put these down and show you guys real quick. Let's put that here. And then we'll go and pull out the tool to do this. We'll pick one up and it's going to basically want to do the entire thing. See, so you can't do a backsplash, which really kind of sucks. Maybe in a future update, they'll allow you to, to, to basically put tile on partial walls, but we'll see. Uh, all right, so we have a bed. We've got, uh, we've still got a lot of dead space. There's no place for like a computer or anything like that. I'll just put a small computer desk right here. Let's see, desk, it's like a super small. What's the smallest one they have? Computer desk, this one. This looks pretty tiny. Beach, uh, steel, wood, carry, cherry, Venice coat, wood, cherry to match this. Well, actually, that's not wood, cherry, was it? It was, uh, wasn't Venge either. It wasn't gray and it wasn't beach. Huh. I hate to have conflicting wood type types so close to each other. So let's just go with, uh, beach. It's white enough. It might just work. It might just work. And we just basically slap this guy right in here. There we go. And then we got a computer chair. I mean, you see, like, it's it's endless. There's so many things you could do. It's just, it, there's just so many things you hear. Simple, small chair, white, legs gray. And we'll just put that right, right in here. There we go. How nice it actually lets you do that. And then we could, we could put uh, uh, pictures and paintings. We could actually go and put a small... You know, picture of my framed cat. There it is. Not my cat, but just like, you know, just, just pretend. This is RP this for me, huh? There we go. Put a little thing on there. Then we put some doors in. So we go to doors. Actually, let's not put the doors in. Let's go put appliances in. <laughs> Installations, I think, is the category it says. Uh, no, they don't. Actually, is this a, a towel rack? Yes, these right here. So we'll put this on. This is pretty easy. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Good. Now, I don't have any window coverings or anything. We're just going to go right to the selling part so I can show you guys what the auction part looks like as soon as I put in the toilet. Oh, the bathroom. Here we go. Bathroom. I'll put this in. The sink it goes right here. And then the shower is going to go right. There's only one type of shower. Kind of a bummer. Again, hopefully there's more content that's added later on. Um, wait, is that a fixture for a, to oh, a toilet? Duh. <laughs> What's going to go there? Let's put a low back toilet here. Kind of nice. And we'll go ahead and assemble these things real quick. You can see all the uh, small things that the hold, hold left click on. Super hard to install. No wax seal or anything like that. If you ever installed a toilet, you know that that was uh, probably the most bare bones way of ever installing a toilet right there. <laughs> Water's going to leak all over the place on the first flush. Can't wait. Lay it down. Got to get underneath it somehow. Don't even ask. There we go. Put all that stuff on there. Look at me. Look at me. Just like reaching underneath everything. Screw it all in. Good. Get you guy. Get you on there. Get you on there. There we go. There's so many small parts here. Good. Good. So many small parts. Love the window effect, though. If you look at it, that that kind of the the uh, what would you call that actually? Refraction, where it kind of takes it and just prisms the the picture all over the place. Good. 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 We're almost there. A lot of a lot of things to install in this, but it's good. It gives you it gives you an idea. I mean, it's not a great. It's not a great representation of, but it's still it makes you work to do it. So now that shower is done, basically click click, put those in. Same thing with this. Same thing with this. Good. Now I have again the the, the highest level perk for this. So this is super fast. When you first get in, you're gonna be sitting here like da 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 for at least I would say twice as long as it takes me to do it. At least. Twice as long. Now this, good. This is basically god mode. There we go. All right, so the bathroom is done. Uh, let's go ahead and put a door on and just sell it as is. Again, just so you guys can see, we'll put a nice kind of white door. Works in here. 
Uh, that's probably a good way to open it up right there. Perfect. And then we'll put a front door on. I didn't even paint that. Damn. <laughs> I'll make it a nice white door too. Let's see. Uh, front door with knocker. Oh, do I have a white door front? Let's see. Internal door. Front door. Oh, front door. Knocker. I was looking right at it. Let's make sure the, the knocker's on the outside. I've made that mistake before. That uh, looks like it's on the outside. Okay. And we'll line it up. There you go. So let's pretend it looks really good. Okay. Again, just going in. I didn't put drapes up or anything, but you could tell. Just look at the beginning of the video from then to here. Like, this is a massive difference. And this is like with the tiniest little living space, the tiniest little apartment. I still was able to make it look, uh, if I had more time, I would, I would obviously continue to build on it, but I was still able to give it, um, give it a nice, nice aesthetic, you know? And actually let's see if, uh, if I switch to game time, will it switch tonight? I don't think so. Yeah, cause it's, it's, I think it just basically starts it off at whatever, wherever you left it off at. Now let's go ahead and go to the, the selling point here. So you want to sell this house, let's start the auction. It tells you houses, two rooms, uh, I bought this house for twenty-seven thousand dollars. I put like not that much into it, I think. But right on the right-hand side, it says this is where you get to learn more about your prospective buyers. It'll say, you know, single bed. A single bed can be a bit uncomfortable. Uh, this guy says I like there's only one bedroom. So this guy has no no cons whatsoever, right? This guy is totally into it. Um, no living room in the house. But they, these guys are the, the, the highest. Well, these guys are the highest bidder. Looks like. There is no private space, only for myself. So here at this point, you could say, all right, I could choose to make a profit of $10,000 on this house, or I could refuse the offer, pay the auction penalty of like $1,000 and some change, and then try to cater to this guy a little bit more, right? I could basically sit there and go, all right, let me see. He doesn't like no TV in the bedroom, minus one point. Uh, there's no good, no TV, good, where are the speakers? So it's like, if I could just add a couple more things, I might be able to get a lot more from this guy. But except for the no double bed. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So I basically go to, uh, actually I can negotiate the offer if I wanted to. Let's see, propose increased payment by, let's say $5,000. Let's see what he comes with. Your offer is too low. I can sell your house for $4,000. It's, it's cool, I'll take it. Look at that. Just made an additional $5,000 just like that. Boy, haggling is easy. I accept the offer. I now have that money in my account. I no longer have access to the house. I would go to the home purchasing system upstairs in this house that we're actually at right now. Let me go ahead and do that. As soon as it's done loading. Now, now, at this point, I am a little worried. In the back of my head, I'm worried that that bug that I initially talked about. What's your impression? Yeah, that's where the notes are going to be in the uh, tablet. I'm a little bit worried that the game might bug out at this point, in which case that would suck. Here we go. Nope, we're good. 19 more houses ready for me to flip. Varying prices, 31,000. Abandoned house, burned house, camping bungalow, uh, ranging all the way up to $128,000. Obviously, I'm super rich because I hacked that shit in. Uh, oh, sorry, $100, dollars Oh, excuse me. Look at this. And you click on it, get a little bit more details about the house as well, as well as some pictures. shows what's inside of it. This house is actually pretty well furnished because it's not an abandoned house or anything like that. Look at that. That's pretty nice. There's mirrors and all this stuff all the place. They got, they got runners uh, all over. So, yeah, this, this, room, actually, this room could use a... Uh, Oh, there's a oh, wow, it's just kind of cycling through. There's two different layers there. Well, that's kind of an interesting way of showing multiple images in one. Anyways, um, yeah, I can buy a house and then turn around and renovate it and then try to flip it again. This house is already in pretty good, good condition, minus the dirt uh, that you can see like right here. Um, and yeah, it's just, uh, it's just this, this game is just overall pretty fun, man. Like, just chill. I could just sit here and just take a house renovate it, create something interesting looking and come, come up with all these themes, right? Of like maybe maybe houses that I wish I had lived in or just like maybe just choose a theme, flip on it and then try to build something that fits that. Um, I really like that element of this game. Uh, you could play it if you want. You can go through additional walls. You could go to somebody's house and basically add a wall or something um, and you know, get paid for the job. That's how you progress in the game naturally. Again, I did modify the save to get around a, a game-breaking save bug that occurred in a previous build, in an earlier build. Uh, but you, if you want, you can actually go through and play this way you're supposed to, using the progression element of going through, doing all the odd jobs, saving up your money, buying a house, flipping it, getting a profit, buying a bigger house, etc., etc., etc. But that's it. That is 
This is my beautiful house. I love it. I love it so much. This just this floor. I'm going to continue building this probably on stream throughout this week, um, and because it's launch week for the game, uh, and seeing what I could do with the, uh, the the first floor. I don't know. Probably make that maybe like a normie floor. You know, the you know, TV and living room, all that stuff. Um, and then of course the the, the bottom, the downstairs here. Uh, this is going to be the dungeon. So I got to figure out how to turn this thing into a sex dungeon, which is going to be kind of a big, a bit of a pain in the ass, I think. But now that I can have all these, I can build walls. I could definitely build like little, uh, uh, I guess like little cells or something like that and put like swings and stuff in it. So I uh, bet you guys didn't see that turn for this. Uh, this any for breakfast. So that's it. Game's called House Flipper. It's going to be available on Steam on May 17th. More than likely the day that this any for breakfast gets released to the public. If you're part of the Patreon, you guys have already seen the video beforehand. Isn't that awesome? All you gotta do is just support me. Just like just a dollar will get you in. <laughs> uh, so you can check it out on your, on your own if you want. The game is uh, rumored to be nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, I think that's actually maybe confirmed by Dev, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, my name is Mike B, aka Phony. This is Indie for Breakfast. My house is awesome, and it's gonna be a great, great, great dungeon. <laughs>